Hey guys, the last few videos I've been making have been all around Formula One graphics, whether that's putting old graphics onto new footage or new graphics onto old footage. And the reaction since releasing those videos has been absolutely incredible and something I just generally didn't expect. And so I just want to say a quick thank you to everyone who's watched it, commented on it and shared it. It really means a lot to me and hopefully I can get to make some more for you guys very, very soon. But onto today's video where as it is the holiday season, I wanted to give you something which is this, the F1 2018 Team Radio Graphic, which is fully customizable. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can do that. Now for this to work, you need Adobe After Effects CC 2017 at least for this to work. Any later versions like 2018 or 19, it works absolutely fine. Any previous versions will not work, so you need at least 2017 to then move forward with this. So when you click the link in the description, you'll come to a page like this. Just simply click download. It's less than a megabyte, so hopefully there won't be any issues here. So when you've downloaded the project and unzipped it, you should have three files in here, which is Team Radio, then a folder Fonts, and then Footage, which is all the assets After Effects is needing for the project to work. I would say though, straight away before opening the project, is that you install all of these fonts here, that way then when you go into After Effects you won't have any issues. So here we are then inside of After Effects and as you can see there is three compositions. We've got Team Radio Export, Team Logo and Driver Face. So we just have a little scrub through of what we're going to be actually changing and customising here. So first of all the actual name of the driver, then the actual colour of the team, the driver's head and then we just scrub forward a little bit more team name and a team logo. So this is what I mean by it's fully customizable. So if you've got like an F1 gaming channel and you want to put on your own drivers, then this is the project for you. You can fully customize it to yourself. So we go to window at the very top and then check essential graphics. So over here on the left hand side, we've got three different options. We've got last name, team name and team color. So as default, it's set to Daniel Ricciardo because he's my favorite driver, but this is where you're going to be able to change the names and also the team color as well. So if we we're going to change the last name um, to, I don't know, let's just say my last name, Amos, stick it in and then it automatically changes for you and it's already animated for you. All you've got to do is just change those little details and everything else is already customized for you. Um, and let's say I changed my team name to, I don't know, Countryside, why not? There we go, I'm now racing for Team Countryside. And let's change the colour of the team. Uh, let's go for a, a green, a dark green because of leaves and stuff then it automatically changes for you as well. And so if we just scrub back real quick, you'll see that everything is still fully animated for you, but then all those things have already countryside, <laughs> this is funny. Um, you can see everything is already animated for you, so all you've got to do is just change those three little parameters and you've already made such a big difference already. But we've still got two more things to do, so why don't we change uh, the team logo. So if we go into the team logo composition here, you can see here that you've got a, uh, an outline. This is basically your border. You cannot go further than this. So if I was to like make uh, the Red Bull logo here larger than the square, if we go back to our first composition, you can see here where it's cut off. So this is here sort of like a guideline for you so then you know how far you can stretch that logo out. So firstly, let's get rid of the old logo and then let's bring in our new leaf logo. And then we can just scale it down, uh, S for scale all the way down so then it fits nicely inside of that little square. And then if we just go back to the Team Radio Export, you can see we've now got a leaf. There we go. <laughs> right, so let's now go onto the driver's face, which is currently just Daniel Ricciardo. So in here at the moment, um, I've left this here as a example of where you need to get the eyeballs and the mouth and the scaling correct. So I'm just gonna bring in a photo of myself and a way to uh, sort of look at both layers uh, to get the positioning correct, uh, we need to drop down the opacity. So if we hit T, and then if we change this figure from 100% to 50, and then uh, press S for scale, and then we're just going to bring this down and try and get the alignment, 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 the alignment correct. Sweet, amazing. Now, if you're like me and you don't know Photoshop whatsoever and you know After Effects, you're then going to have this issue of like, well, how am I going to get rid of the background? So there's a tool in After Effects called the Roto Brush, which is mainly used uh, to make a, a rotoscope of a person on like a green screen or a distance himself from an object, basically just making a mask out of you really, really quickly. At the very beginning start frame here, so not down here, if we go up to here, which is the Roto Brush, and double click on the layer, Oh, I just want to zoom out of my chin. We don't need to rotate everything because obviously it's just going to be the shoulders to the head. With the brush selected, hold down and just make a little paint. There we go. You hold it down and then release to let go. And basically you're just going to be painting in the body that you want really. Now let's say for example I accidentally just went way like that. And then this whole section here is now covered. 
What you can do is then press down Alt, which makes the icon red. And you can now start to get rid of those extra areas you selected. Or you can just do Command Z to get back to it. Up here, for example, you can see where the hair is sort of like, it's thinning off into the background and it doesn't look that detailed. So what you do here is then go hold down the Roto brush and go to Refine Edge Tool. And basically what this does, it will look for the difference in color with the alpha channels. So if we now just go around the edges here, and I'll show you as an example, you can see here, it's really come in to like find where that edge is and using some of the, that hair that's uh, missed out to then keep it in. So we just do this around this, the whole uh, section of the hair. You don't want to do this over the whole of the body um, because where you've got sections of your body where it's a, like sort of a split edge, it might then try to add on a few more pixels. Whereas with hair, you kind of want to do that. So all right, if we now go back to the composition, you can see now the whole background is gone. If I just turn off uh, transparency here, you can see we've got a bit of this uh, little halo here. That's sort of fine. If you want it to go a bit further, you can uh, click enable this option here, and then it's will sort of even it all out. If we now go back to uh, Team Radio Export, you can now see that my face is now in there, and we go back to the very beginning and scroll through. You can now see that it's fully animated. Now, when it comes to exporting, you've got sound effects on here as well. So it's going to be a QuickTime ProRes 4444, which is the best quality version you can get as an alpha layer with RGB and alpha set. So how do we do this? So if we go to composition and add to render queue, whilst in the team radio export, we go down to output module and click that. So make sure the format is select to QuickTime and format options on the drop down, you click Pro, Apple ProRes 4444 and click OK. And in video output under channels, you select RGB and alpha. As default, it will normally say RGB, so you just need to select RGB and alpha. And down here, it'll say audio output off. You can have it off if you want to, uh, if you don't want any audio or anything, but if you want to have that team radio sound I've included, you click on and hit OK. And then simply enough, you click output two, you click on that, choose where you want it to go, hit render, Bob's your uncle, there you go. But that's everything you need to know about recreating these graphics using your own videos. And if you do use them in your own videos, then please do send me the link on Twitter. I would love to check them out. And it's also the best place to find out when a new video is being published. But if you have no idea what I'm on about in terms of F1 graphics, then click the two-way annotations at the very end. Links are down in the description. See you next time.